It were the most violent 24 hours in months. After a few days of testing Russia's troops' resilience, Kiev threw more than a thousand men into the grinds of war. The onslaught began just after midnight. Few Ukrainian soldiers lived to see the dawn. Ukrainian army chose to hit exactly where Russia expected it to. Even Western analysts admitted that. Just as everyone agrees, this was only the beginning. Ukraine has at least two NATO-trained army corps in reserves. So Russia is training its own. We were lucky to see the graduation exam of a brand new unit flying kamikaze drones. Here on the safe distance from the front line, special forces are training Russia's own drone operators, Russia's own swarm. Drone warfare has become a feature of this war. Old books on tactics are useless here. New ones are written by those on the front lines. The drone is designed for light armored vehicles. The flight speed is up to 100 kilometers per hour. The operator is trained to control it to break sharply, to maneuver and to turn around, as well as to locate the target. There is also a second operator and an objective control intelligence group that finds the target and says where to move to. They show on the screen what it should hit. He puts on his glasses, picks up the remote control and operates it. It flew and struck the target. The drones themselves are probably not difficult to manufacture. There is a lot of ammunition. Cheap and devastating, these devices are mass-produced both by Russia and Ukraine. And since Kyiv has apparently indeed made its bet on capturing Zaporozhye, chances are this is exactly where the two swarm armies will have a face-off. Amigashdanov reporting from Zaporozhye, RT.